Hello and welcome to day 11 of Advent of Code in Haskell. Um, it's been a while, right? I've been doing it now for 11 days, like we're almost halfway through, right? It's starting to get harder, but that's okay. We have the power. A pluribus unum. No. We're mostly doing it ourselves, so there's not much to that. Anyway, let's start with day 11. Oh my god. What the Monkeys. Happy third advent. Wow, little Annie. Back at it. With the time key. All right. Uh, finally, start making your way over. Realize your pack is much lighter than you remember. Just then, one of your items from your pack goes flying overhead. Monkeys are playing keep away. What the fuck? I'm gonna put a monkey emoji in chat. Uh, it's too hard to find. Let me see. Monkey in the middle. Okay. Oh wow. It's a two, which two or more players must pass the ball to one another while a player in the middle attempts to intercept it. It feels like, yeah, exactly, as a form of bullying. Like, what the fuck? Wow. Anyway. So, we take some notes on the items each monkey currently has. How worried about your other? Well, a monkey monkey's decision based on where level left first. Let me just check a uh, personal info to it. Sorry. <laughs> Push. Good thing this is all remote. Anyway, okay, seven monkeys. Seven monkeys. Okay, that's it. So, wow. Proceed. Thanks, Lily Lenny. Okay, so they work on how worried we're about each other. Anyway, this is a bit much, but I have to say, okay, uh, then let's just. Put this into example and uh, the file example. Example. Okay, three monkeys, and we keep the example here. Now let's parse uh, monkeys. Data monkey equals uh, m. Okay, it has starting item. There's a list of units. Ooh, operation is new equals old times 19. Okay, then we let's just do that. A uh, operation. So sometimes it takes in. Ah, it just takes in one operation. Uh, int to int. It's gonna be hard to. Uh, Let me get the input. I'm not worried about how are we gonna parse functions. Let's get the actual input. So it's all divisible by that's the operation, and then it's all new. So okay. You know, it would be probably be a lot faster if we actually just manually wrote this in. But anyway. A test, okay. Okay, throw to monkey and then throw to monkey. And same here, it's all a test. There's some condition. Okay, so divisible by monkey two, monkey three. Okay. A test. Board 
Grade P to Prec. And then instance read monkey where reads prec equals read prec and read P to prec. And I think it's read prec to P, right? Read prec to Yeah, so where is it reads prec? Yeah, so it's read prac to s, uh, and then this was lift a import corner drive parser combinators prac as rp, and then this is rp dot lift. Ours. And then this is going to be read prac to s. Where? So, how do we parse a monkey? Well, first, do. First, we read the string monkey. Then, we uh, skip spaces. We parse an int. Okay, skip speed read us to P of reads in uh, monkey number. And let's just the rest is look, turn undefined, uh, trace, show and look. Let's see how it goes. Uh, because we don't have an enable type application. What is the problem here? GTO day 11, day 11 of HS and day 11. Mm -hmm. What is it complaining about now? Okay, why doesn't it want to just do string? Oh. Okay, and then skip spaces, right? This is still fine. We read the monkey and then we do trace show a. Oh. 
And now let's just uh, very input. To a list of marking and input equals a uh, read at monkey dot io if map map oh a uh, map read monkey read file if read and then this one. Let's actually do um, lines. We have my lines over it. Let's steal the chunks function from day two. No, day three. We do a lot of these chunking things because we're just gonna take the lines and then give it a couple of lines and then we have that chunk. Chunks, uh, lines, and map read monkey. Chunks, and then one monkey takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. Let's compile it, it compiles. Now let's do read input example. Uh, oh, monkey show. Uh, okay. Instant show monkey where number int show and is equal to uh, uh, n plus show number and then we want uh, language. Ah, pretty dot no parts. Okay, let's uh, first a uh, trace show here. Okay. Ah, I didn't save the file. Monkey, zero. Okay, then, yes, good. Do monkey, skip zero. Okay, and then, uh, let me read the monkey number. And then we're gonna do jar, okay, and then skip spaces. Okay, and then we're gonna say, starting, Items. Okay, we're gonna say string starting items. Items column skip spaces. Okay, and then we're gonna say um, set by one. Uh, reads. Read S to P, read at, uh, reads at int. And this is set by the char comma. Okay, so uh, starting items. Let's call this here uh, number. Now we're going to print out the number and the starting items. 
Okay. We got the starting item. How are we gonna skip spaces? Boom. Okay, operation. New equals. Okay, so let's say here, uh, string operation called a new equals. Skip spaces. Okay, now we have to, s to do this uh, parse an expression. Okay, and then uh, what are the probably the uh, okay, operators we use? It's either times old times old or um, okay, let's do it. Uh, then we're gonna say parse expert. Then op is parse expert where expert equals do. So this is gonna say first a uh, string old. Okay. And then uh, op. Is gonna be a choice. So we have two operations. It's either gonna be a char star, and we're gonna return multiplication. And uh, return. Or it's going to be char plus and we return plus let me see here closed okay and now we skip spaces again Now, um, so pars var. Okay, so string starts with old and skip spaces. Okay, now we have a choice. Choice. Uh, res equals a choices. So either we get a string old, and then we uh, we return turn. Uh, a function that says a oh well we'll always take in take it in old and returns a up old old okay otherwise string otherwise it's a read so it's gonna be do uh, uh, a int, we read the int, read, at int, and we need to do read s to p, read s to p, reads int, uh, and we return a function old op old i. This is actually, we don't need to do here. The problem with pars expert. Uh, okay, I need to make everything a little more, more indented. Sorry. Okay. Choices. Uh, it's just choice, maybe? Yeah. Okay, now pars expert reads and returns the operation. Okay, so we parse the expression and a uh, Let's see where we're at then. Uh, 
Um, okay, it didn't work. So we do string old. Now let's say a trace show m. Let's say a look into trace show. M. So our parsing expression. Okay, we said old. Ah, skip spaces. Then we get that. Yeah. Okay, now we parse the expression. We skip spaces. Okay, so we get that. Okay, cool. See, I like how he didn't chicken out and be like, Ugh, it's going to be a hard op. We just parsed it. Skip spaces. Okay, next we have a string test. Div divisible. Divisible by skip spaces and uh, test div uh, test div. Okay, it's gonna be a um, let's have a test here to be parsed. Test okay, now we say. Uh, Okay, uh, let's actually make this into a uh, not parse up, regression parse up. Let's just have this all kind okay. of parsing bits part of the thing. Okay, it's gonna be string operation, new equals div spaces. And then we have a. Uh, this is just uh, parse up. Make it a bit cleaner and meaner. Okay, parse up. That's like this. Now, oh. parse test equals to a string test colon divisible by and then skip spaces and then we read the number and. Uh, uh, and we just return uh, n. So the operation return is a, 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 a n mod a number is equal to zero. Okay. This is how we say divisible by. So we parse skip the basis, so parse the test, we parse the number. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, let's say a uh, test of. So, test is gonna be, okay, what do we call it? We said to call it test, okay? And then, uh, bars. Let's print what we have now. True, if true, okay, proto monkey will do, okay. Then we say, um, Parse cond is gonna take in a stir to do a string if and then uh, let's say a uh, skip spaces and then string stir and then a string uh, row to monkey. Spaces, uh, and then we read the number. Now, a uh, test. This is gonna be return. Okay, let's just return the number. Okay, so we skip the spaces. If true, then we do a uh, parse con. Uh, we need to skip spaces. Yeah. Parse con true true test and then skip spaces and then false test. Okay, and then skip spaces. Ah, and I think we did it. And then we're gonna just return 
m dot up, right? And it's complaining that a number operation. Uh -huh. Okay, this one is gonna be operation. Operation. What is not? What is missing here? Okay. Uh, I, okay. Test true, test false. Ah. Cancel. Let's see. Test true. is not into it is actually into both yeah okay we got monkey one two and three all right now i just want to see if we can uh, read input let's see if we also parse the input all right we managed to parse the monkeys Hey, hey, with the monkeys. Monkey go, monkey around. Uh, yes, it's because we are Tracial right here. Okay, uh, read monkey on lines. Uh, where is the current trace? Okay, we managed to pass the monkey. Okay, let's see. Now, what are we doing with these monkeys? This is pure computer science. We don't really care about what we're doing. We just want to set our uh, monkeys up. Okay, three monkeys. Each monkey has several attributes. Starting items list your very level for each monkey is currently holding in the order they will be inspected. Operation shows how your worry level changes as that monkey inspects an item. Okay. Tests show how the monkey uses your worry level to decide where to throw an item next. Mm -hmm. After each monkey inspects an item, but before it tests your worry level, your relief that the monkeys infecting didn't damage the item causes you to worry level to be divided by three and then round it down to the nearest integer. The monkeys take turns inspecting and throwing items. On a single monkey's turn, it inspects and throws all the items in this holding one. The timing order is listed. Okay, monkey zero goes first, then monkey one, and so on, until each monkey has had one turn. The process of each monkey is taking a single turn is called a round. Uh huh. A monkey starts a round one. Why does the end of inspecting this one when this item? Then its turn comes around. If a monkey is holding no items at the start of its turn, its turn ends. Okay. Oh, Lenny, little Lenny is in the Christmas mood. Okay. Uh, monkey bite going to the well I was there by by three to fifty hundred and one uh -huh. five hundred so it's not it's a float. Current water level is not divisible by twenty-three. Item with water level five hundred is thrown to monkey three. Okay. Um we have multiple buckets and we're like throwing uh, from the buckets. Okay, now let's then do this. So I feel like we should have like a, uh, we should have some, uh, we should have some buckets here. Uh, starting items. Let's have this to be an int map because we're going to be updating it a bunch. Ah, no, we have to be painting the list. Okay, then. Uh, So, uh, monkey and turn. Takes a monkey 
and so um what does it do um i mean it expects things and they always throw to other monkeys right yes okay it takes a monkey to a monkey in map okay uh, oh yes monkey turn now let's see monkey turn okay so uh we have the uh, monkey so let's uh, first do all the word levels Okay, it equals so, um, so where, uh, items equals starting, so items prime equals, um, map operation over a starting items. Okay, so first we do all the worry level. Uh, uh, the worry levels. Ah, so we first do it, and then we divide by three, and then we check. Okay, well, let me see. So anyway, so operation shows so, so operation test show. After each monkey inspects night, but before it tests your worry level, you relieve that the monkey's infected and damage it costs you well as a wide by three one thousand years in future. I think that's just the right. Uh, so I think it's just like this. It's monkey and then flip div uh, flip div three. Uh, so these are the items, and then um, and then we're gonna do a. So it's, it's not span. I don't think it's span. It's a partition. Partition, I think, from Hugo. Let's see, Hugo. Partition, yes. Okay. Import data on list. Partition. And then we're gonna partition based on the so it's the so. Uh, TT and T file so test true and test test T test F equals partition test okay so we partition it based on the test after we divide it by three and um, So let's actually keep it like this. So this is going to be int map. So these are going to be things in air. Okay. In air. We take a monkey. Uh, and we just, we could just actually, when we initialize it, we'll just put the uh, starting items for that monkey. Um, in, so let's just say in air uh, I am dot bang so we have starting items but we are actually using too much okay so uh, import qualified int map data dot int map as I am import data dot int map map as i am no we didn't just get the int map and then in air uh, and then you say number okay and the this one so we partition the test and we say um
So we so uh, we modify the input pi. So modify I am dot modify and modify uh, int map. Probably do with a sync to sync. Let's see. Um. Adjust. Adjust. Okay. Adjust the value specified a key. When the key is not map, the larger map is returned. Um, update. I think it's just adjust because it's always going to have the an empty list for the or the starting items so uh i am dot modify uh, and we're gonna add test t uh no sorry it's adjust i am dot adjust and so this is got the operation and then we say this is the true test let's call this a uh, Something like this. True dust. False dust. Ding, 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 ding. True dust. False dust. And now, so we want to add the, to the true dust. And. Uh, And we want to add to the uh, I am dot adjust and plus plus test F false test and finally we want to say I am dot adjust and set it to the empty list uh, the, for the current monkey right because they've just processed their uh, int map of a list of things and this goes to the same thing mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ah, yeah number uh, in air ding, 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 ding. Uh, um, what is wrong here? Test T, test F. Oh, partition test. And then we just do the flip the map in air IM number. Okay, this is a monkey turn. Now, we don't care about, let's say, one turn. After round one, monkeys are holding on with these worry levels. Okay, now, uh, so. Task one. Uh, takes in a list of monkeys. And returns an int map. Of int. So let's say task one equals uh, fold L. Okay, and. So this is going to be a, a monkey turn. This is a fold L is, right? B A B, yes. Uh, monkey turn and the initial map uh, where, okay. Uh, Init initial map is equal. So the initial map is gonna be a map 
Uh, so we take a monkey and we give it into a number, comma, starting ding items. And we map that over the uh, monkeys. Yeah, monkeys. And so the initial map here is monkeys. Now, initial map uh, and fold L and then oh, man, monkeys initial 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 map and the problem with the initial map is that it's not from listed I am not from list Okay, now this should be one turn. Okay, let's see. Read input example. Task one. Uh, print. Oh my god. Okay. So 20, 23, 27, 26. 20, 23, 27, 26. 20, 80, 25, Okay. So after round two, after round three, after round five. Okay. Let's say call this here. Let's just say here. Um, Turn is equal to um, takes an int map, so it takes a list of monkeys, and it takes an int map to int to int map to int. Turn is equal to uh, fold l monkey turn uh, monkeys. This is going to be flip uh, monkeys. So this is one turn, okay? Uh, so if we say then uh, iterate. So let's call this uh, iter. So let's call it iterate. Uh, so let's say take one and then print iterate turn and iterate needs an initial value right um, okay so this is actually here it's monkey so this is gonna be iterated turn Gonna be head of iterate a uh, turn uh, iterate turn monkeys and then initial map. Yes, okay, so let's see here task one print task one. Ooh, that didn't work. Now, why didn't that work? Uh, is this turn two? I feel like that this should have worked. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. I 
Let's see, we'll go. Uh, let's find each of it here. There is a monkey, and it's an int map of int. Do int map of int. Now turn uh, monkeys. It's equal to fold L. Uh, monkey turn. Okay, and then we're gonna say flip monkeys. Okay, now this is so this this one should be just turn 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 monkeys apply to initial map. Okay, so that so the turn here is correct. Okay. Iterate turn monkeys initial map print two two. Um, okay. I feel like this is the reverse. Iterate. Ah, this is the initial list. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, chasing all monkeys at once is impossible. You're gonna have to go with a left hand to down monkeys. Monkey each time, e monkey each monkey inspects items over 20 rounds. Okay, so then we just say, uh, so, take, so okay, we have a list of ends. Okay, so we say take 20. We might be off by one here. Uh, take 20. Okay, so rounds equals take 20. Iterate monkeys in the map. Okay, and now we are going to say map. We're gonna map over the IM. Okay, IM. So we're gonna say, um, how do you map over an int map? E I M dot map. Uh, int, int map has good. Okay, it's a functor. Let's just then say, uh, 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 per round equals I am dot F. So it's going to be F map, uh, length, F map length. Uh, so we're going to say map, F map length. Rounds. Okay, let's just start with a uh, two two rounds first, and we're gonna say, let's say this is gonna be a uh, int map. Int. It's gonna be a list of int maps. Int uh, per round. Okay, let's see what happens here. Now let's not take two. Well, okay, we can actually do that. Uh, Rounds okay, take 20. So we're just gonna look at the first two, okay? So this is this is how many a uh, items monkey zero has four then two Monkey two has three items and monkey three has one item And then monkey three, okay now union now i'm going to say something called union with oh uh, union with now let's just do that okay so this is going to be i am dot unions with plus 
and there's gonna be map eight. Okay, and now we're not gonna take two here. We're just gonna print task one. Uh, task one. 101, 95, 3, 1. 101, 95. Ah, but because uh, they, because they look at it, I look at it like per round, right? Okay, yes. Okay, we're not quite there. We are there for monkey number zero, but because we kind of... To, well, because for, yeah, for monkey zero, it starts in the beginning, and then... Okay, we need to do this again. Um, so we can't do it just... We need to figure it out. So we, cause we're counting how many times they check it. Let's say uh, they were adding the test here. So this is going to be monkey starting. So we're going to just keep track of uh, how many times people they have inspected in here. Um, and then this one is going to take an int map. And it's not a list of, it's a list of int comma. In, and then this is int comma int and this is gonna be a, 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 a this is gonna be a c comma underscore a let me do c plus length a d d d d d d d d d d d where per items equals in air I am dot number and we're gonna do second okay and this is gonna be a oh wait current items this is gonna be first of this one and this is gonna be second of this one okay and this is gonna be C plus uh, oh yeah, no. So we actually need that. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Per items, and this is the good the second. And now we look at how many we processed. So let's see plus length per items, and then the new items that the monkey has is just yeah this. Okay. A. Uh, add. Uh, I C comma uh, uh, L S is equal to uh, L S prime is equal to a C comma L S plus plus L S prime. Now let's go. This could actually probably be a sec, but we don't need it. Add okay. Do, 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 do. Flip add. Test T. Flip add. Test F. Do, 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 do. Okay. And what is the problem here? Right. This one actually should return int comma. And now we are in. We're not going to do this. We are going to say, um, let's, this is a list of in comma eight. Or let's say, we'll do rounds. 
Okay, and this one takes an int comma to int comma. Now let's take one round. We we'll take twenty rounds. Maybe we need probably to take uh, twenty rounds. Okay, now this was gonna be the uh, we take the head of reverse. Oh, what can't be reverse round? Head reverse round. Uh, I am dot f map first. No, f map fst. So we want that like the after 20 rounds, right? Okay, so we say, so rounds. Okay, and we reverse rounds. We take the head. And then we don't want this one. So we take F map first. Okay. Boom. And we do not actually need the other in between this but it's all good in the hood okay the two most active monkeys okay and then you know so let's be a list of ints i am dot lms Okay, this is the level of monkey piston. Oh no. Oh yeah. And then this is the, this is the level of monkey business. Okay, what is the level of monkey business for the input? Six, four, three, two. Let's see. Slow today. Oh, that's the right answer. All right. Task one done. I hope all the work we put in. Uh, we. Okay, uh, now we're certainly not gonna keep the thing in memory, right? Let's see, because uh, we don't need, we can just take and then, okay, so let's see, iterate. Uh, now I don't want to say a, a to a to int to, so a to int to a. So let's say, uh, what do we do? But what happens here? Okay, so this is all int maps. A, it can still be an int map, but these will be integers. Need to get 
Okay, then we don't say so reads and then starting items. This will be read at integer. So this is actually yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter for uh, high school. Fast uh, kind. What is the problem here? Match type in the actual integer interval. So right, okay. Integer. Now we can do all the monkey. So I'm so I'm wondering if we can just get get away. Like, can we get away with? It? Probably not, right? It's gonna be like one of those uh, super slow for doing it. The naive way, but. Uh, Monkey turn two. Okay, and then we just uh, don't divide by three. Expect it. Uh, yeah, this is because this is integer. Uh, now reverse rounds. And where does it still say it? It. These are all integers. Monkeys are correct. Chunks are correct. Integers is correct. This is monkey turn one. <coughs> seeing if we can get away with uh, being lazy uh, and just run it for a thousand rounds I think it should work but I'm not convinced mm. what is the problem what is the problem rounds yeah okay rounds is a list of int map in comma list of integers now here i don't actually need that i don't actually need it left map first rounds f map first dollar and map f map first rounds okay uh, let's see. Uh, what was the day eight? Uh, part two? I forgot. Oh, right. It's too much. Uh, rounds is an int map integer. So this is going to be an impact of int. Okay. Yes. Let's do reverse, reverse, and then we take the head. Oh yeah, that was a bit uh, rough. We did it by transpose, 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 transpose. No, we did it like by kind of dynamically. No, it's not almost dynamic. I think. Um, 
I think we almost had it. Int map. Int. We could have made it dynamic. But we kind of, we did it the boring way, but we could have been like kind of lazily evaluated. Be like, ah, oh, this one is the sum of all the other ones. Uh, but we, we ended up not doing it. Okay, so what is the rounds here? Okay, and then I have to reverse and then I have to head. Okay, so this should be int map of int comma list of integer, right? Okay, then uh, uh, fmap fst, this should be a list of ints. Okay, and then we do this. We reverse and sort, and we do the product. What is the problem here? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, well, this is still, t we're editing task one. Yeah, but we want to be editing task one. Uh, it was a bit, uh, we had to, yeah, I mean, it was, it was shenanigans, right? We had to, uh, we had to make it work. Okay, and then I want to do the product of the int here. Okay, this is how it is. Now, ask to where turn. Uh, so turn is gonna be monkey turn two. All right, and let's put the turn in here as well. And uh, actually, yeah. So monkey turn two. Same but no. And we do for 20 turns, uh, right, uh, we're still in task one. Okay, let's see, well, for task one, uh, task one, so let's just, uh, So the component numbers don't get that big, but the resulting number gets quite big. Okay, so we sort them, and then we don't. No, we don't. We're not going to do product like this. We're going to say uh, from integral. No, from integral. Uh, we're going to go from int to Ticker a uh, map How do I convert these two to a integer? Okay, right. Let's uh, time it. Now let's bump up the task. And we're doing it for the example. Bump it up to 10,001. 
not to 10,001. Okay, it's all frozen. Let's open another terminal and just say H tab. Do, 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 do. Wow. Uh, my God. Okay, the VM is just stuck. That is sad, which means that we need to actually do a bunch of stuff. My, the VSL should not be doing this bad, right? It should at least... Uh, yeah, it should not crash like that. Um, but it did. Okay, let's uh, go back to... Uh, Maybe we should run it for some smaller values first, huh? You know, this is what I've been asking for, right? We've been wanting to... Uh, we've been wanting to do more performance-heavy stuff, right? Uh, let me just check one thing before... Um, okay. We have rounds, in map, in integer, take 10,001. So now we're just kind of keeping every track of everything, which is a lot of work, and it doesn't work. So let's think about it a bit better. Okay, so like this one, right? <laughs> So if all this advisable by 23 um, It's never gonna it, it doesn't have to yeah So I want to see if I can like compute right like what is the result? of one round, right? Like, how do you just... Uh, how do you just... Uh, okay. So now we're like throwing around the monkeys uh, stuff. And then we're adding them to the list. Okay, let's see. So they, they crashed for 10,001, which was okay. Let's see what 101 does. How how bad is it? Okay, uh, we don't have any history either. Let's see here. Uh, GHC, uh, let's see, CD day 11. GHC, O day 11. Uh, 
the 11 digits and compile it. And write Okay, for 101, it's not too bad. So can we like, could we somehow memoize it? J101, 1001. Is it already super bad then? How is it slow? Is it just taking up all the memory or what is it doing actually? Because I feel like, you know, it shouldn't lock everything up, right? That is for sure. Okay, wow, it just, uh, just consumes all the memory. Okay, that, uh, that's why it just crashes that bad. Yeah, okay, so it's not really slow, it's just crashing. And it's probably because we do this iterate thing, right? So let's not do iterate. Let's write uh, F. Apply and takes in an int and then a to a and an a and a and returns an a. Now apply and zero. Doesn't matter. Initial value equals initial value. Apply a. N. F. A equals apply n apply n n minus 1 uh, f f of a so this is going to build up a bunch of funks okay, let's see what if this is any better so instead of doing reverse around head of reverse around we'll just do apply n 1001 uh, and it's a turn monkeys initial map. Let's see if this is any better. It should be, right? Because we don't actually have to keep the list and evaluate it. We might need to make it strict, though. Let's see here. Yeah, it just eats up memory. So fast. Damn. Kill it. Twenty-one, it's a, uh, it's okay, right? Uh, wait a minute. It's not giving me the right one for twenty-one. Okay, so let's apply it. Twenty times. supposed to give for 20 hmm all right because it's monkey turn two 
Monkey turn. Yeah, okay, so, but it still is, we were correct in that it should, we should apply it uh, like that. Okay. Um, we have the initial, well, these are, these are not, uh, this doesn't matter. So, but the, let's try and make this strict. And uh, we have to import that from data.list. Oh, I just threw away two integers. Let's see, now we have uh, one, monkey turn two. Hundreds. The fold L prime should not have as many fancy memory. We can do like uh, 500. It's also like a lazy map, right? Uh, let's do it uh, like the. Uh, so let's make the map strict. Okay, so now the map has been made strict. And then we don't have as much uh, stuff going on there. Oh, okay, we can actually just change this to uh, apply and 20 uh, uh, turn monkey. Initial, initial, initial map. Okay, let's see what happens now. Okay, uh, now the map is strict. Can it go up to a th thousand? It's a lot of memory. Ring, bing, ring, bing, bing, bing. Let's try and make apply and strict. Uh, strictness has goal. Bang patterns. A beep beedy beedy beep beep beep. Let's try and add the bang patterns here. I think it then becomes bang if. Uh, maybe it's already GC2021. Probably not, no? Mm 
you can try this to do, do let's try to do this uh, dollar bank So, okay, so it's really only this, you know, old times old here. Which, uh, uh, affects, uh, makes the numbers huge, right? Uh, but multiplying a number by itself will never affect its divisibility. Okay, so what I'm going to just do is I'm just gonna say a star and then if it's a old then just return old because I think in the input also we're multiplying old plus two plus five and then here we square it uh, so I think maybe that's uh, Helpful. Uh, okay, but it so now we can get the number. The numbers are a lot smaller. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that that's really the problem here. Is that uh, the problem is that these numbers become super small, super big. Uh, so we want to somehow address that, right? So apply and apply and so let's just see if it handles this. Yeah, see, we could do it if not for this old times old operation. Beep, 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 beep. Um, but how do we, so how do we handle that? So there's some like he here, right? It's a bit funny, right? Because it should not affect its divisibility. Then, yeah, of course, we, you know, we add numbers and stuff like that later. Okay, so how do we, how do we handle that specifically?
on the do 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 So I feel that's also what's happening, right? Like it's doing fine until it hits these huge numbers and then it's... Uh... And then it starts uh, slowing down real fast, right? Hmm. Anyone have any ideas? I feel like this is a... Uh, this is... Now it's hard, right? It's just... We saw that, right? Like it's not really the data structures we're using, right? It's really the. It's not like the Haskell part that's slow. It's just that the. This uh, testing and multiplication. Is what's uh, slowing it down. So even if I have if I have if I have monkey turn here. It should still be not too slow. If we keep dividing by three. No, maybe not. Mm. Little Lenny, you've been watching so many of these. Where? You're not l learning anything. Okay, uh... Right, so monkey turn... So, so it's also bad for monkey turn... One. If we always multiply them together and then, um... Maybe I need to make the uh, this one straight. Let's see, how does it look after a hundred operations? Could I like periodically like, uh, like clean it up? Uh, let's see. Big numbs. So it would be really nice if I could like do this modulus something, right? Um, like, you know, can I multiply together all of the numbers? Um, I should be able to do that, I think. Okay, so if I take all the, the tests. So let's make the test actually not like this. Let's just make the test be... 
number number okay so we parse it as a number <coughs> and then the test is a is an integer okay um divisible by reads that integer and return number okay well then we just do return at least okay now instead of doing partition test we do a uh, partition uh, so test is going to be so it's going to be n test um, test mod uh, no it's going to be n mod test equals zero okay uh, now and anyway, we're going to see the same here and uh, uh, mod test uh, is zero equals dot mod test so okay, it's gonna be like this i'm not i don't think it works we cannot just do modulus uh, because like the pluses are there as well but let's see uh, so task mon test to monkeys okay now uh, let's print let's forget this here okay so all tests equals product for a product map test monkeys all tests so map test a uh, monkeys and we have a monkey monkey it's supposed to be test right here uh, and what is the problem with this apply and turn monkeys in map into integer so all tests this is an integer now what I am going to do is a modulo it's going to be take it's going to take an int comma list of integers and it's going to return int comma list of integers a modulo a do mod a mod do do mod okay do mod i comma ends is equal to map mod all tests a ns i comma now let's turn this into an int map income integer to int map a and this is just f map a now let's call this a So and then we just into an integer into blah, 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 blah. okay uh, all tests now I'm gonna say f map do mod yeah those are very good bank account numbers. So this is the idea, right? We just keep it within the modulus of all of them. I feel like this is Chinese remainder theory. Uh, something like that. Uh, but I don't know. Let's call, let's see here, 21. Now let's apply it to 20 times. And let's call it for monkey turn. And let's see what it does. Maybe it doesn't matter for monkey turn. 105. Now I want to sue for monkey turn two. And what does it say for monkey turn two? After round twenty. Jiri day eleven. GC. Oh day eleven. Day eleven. Which is and day eleven. 
So 101, 95, 2, 305. So 99, 97, 803. 99, 97, 803. Okay, what does it say after a thousand? And can we even do a thousand? 5204, 4792. 5204, 5472, 199, 519. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep going, right? Um... What about, uh, does it still work? Oh no, okay, let's just go to 10,000. 52166, uh, 42013. Huh. So it does work. Oh my god. Okay, uh, Yes, so what did we do? We did something called Chinese Remainder Theorem. Okay, and so if you're taking the modulus of a bunch of numbers and you can, this is isomorphic to a ring blah 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 okay so what happens yeah so we're doing like something like case of two case okay but the the idea then is right so instead of we can because we're all only checking for divisibility and that's the only thing that matters right? the actual numbers don't actually matter uh we can just take the modulus every time and, and keep them within the ring because, you know, if we add to it and we multiply it, we, we're just kind of figuring out new steps in the ring. But, uh, yes. Okay, so I'm going to do it for the input now. But this is the number, right? For the example, 27133101158. Yes. Now it's gonna it's gonna be slightly slower for the input because it's seven numbers, but not too slow. You see how we did that though? We did some. We used the math. And we made it work. Let's see. Boom. I guess that math degree wasn't for nothing. Anyway, this was a hard episode. Uh, but... I might not ever bother with this all because I didn't know this math trick. Uh, yes. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I, I wouldn't say I knew it, but I'm aware of thing tricks like this. So, uh, that's why you, you can think of it, ah, let's just give it a go. If it hadn't worked, we would have been doing something else. But, uh, yeah, but the idea is that, so divisibility is only affected by like a, so yeah, so you so you just multiply all the, the the checks, the divisor checks that you're doing together. Um, and then yeah, because and then if you do modulus that like yeah, if you go above that, right, you're still like the divisibility will still only depend on. 
So the visibility will only depend on where you are in the range of those numbers. Right. Uh, how to do this? Uh, let me explain it a bit. So here's three. So three. Let's say three times five. Uh, let me let me write something here. Uh, uh, okay. So we're so we're gonna check if something is divisible by three, and if it's divisible by five. Right. So let's write it out. Uh, so we have zero, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eleven, thirteen. Okay, and we don't actually. Okay, so and the check. So this one is divisible by three and five and three and five and. Uh, sorry, I'm really bad at maths. Three and five and three and three and three. I feel like there's a bigger gap. Okay, three and five and three and five Okay, now let's look at 16 That so that that's kind of back to so this is gonna be we actually don't have 15 here And uh, so it's gonna be X Y Okay now 60, so yeah, so the idea is, right, if you're just checking for divisibility between these two numbers, that this pattern here will repeat itself. So let's let's write it out again, like 16. Okay, let's actually have some numbers here. Uh, this is why you should study math, kids. Okay, uh, three, uh, five, oh my god, uh, six, uh, so, okay, and like this, and then 12 was there, and 15. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, so let's uh, look at it. So, not divisible, not divisible. 18 is divisible by 3, right? Uh, maybe I'm screwing up here. X, A, Y, uh, X, A, 23, 24. 24 is divisible by X, A, M, Y. Okay, sorry, it's uh, 15, then 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, yeah, that's divisible by 3, 28, 29, 30, oh, and then this is XY again, sorry, XY. Right, okay, and the problem is here that, uh, 15 should not really be in here, okay? So this one, so 0 is divisible by both. Okay. This is why it, it doesn't look right. So 0 is divisible by both, okay? Now, 15 should be here, and x, y. So divisible by both, right? And I think this is called the Chinese remainder theorem, right? So look, take a look, see. The pattern repeats itself. Uh, and this is the idea, right? So the pattern will always be the same. So you just multiply all of them and then you can just keep it within this range. Um, uh, and it forms a ring, right? So this is all number theory. Okay. People like Ramanujan Shout out to my main Indian mathematician. They're all about this, right? So, and this is why cryptography works, right? Anyway. Yeah, and this will repeat itself again and again, right? I don't, I'm not going to explain it. But. So take a look at Chinese remainder theorem. So those are... Uh, yeah, 
okay maybe it's not just chinese room enter theorem but it is yes uh oh no okay i think this is the opposite of it okay chinese room enter theorem is something else So instead of using completely library, as it allows replacing computation which one knows a bound on the size of the result by several similar So okay, so it's actually rings or something like that. Anyway, so this is the idea, right? And the trick is that these are all prime numbers. Yeah, I should mention that. This doesn't work if these are not prime numbers. Uh yeah, that's important. Anyway. The pattern repeat. Okay, let me put this right here, straight up. The pattern repeats. Okay. Oh my god. So we can do it via modulo and remain within a ring. Uh, what is a principle ideal? Yeah, this is like the path of part of math that. Uh... So I failed the test. This is like algebra one in math at the university. So I had, to... so I failed it because uh, I wasn't paying attention in class, and so I had to study it again next year uh, to get the math. To get the uh, to do the test right, so this is why I'm. I think I remember this clearly. All right, but anyway, that's day twelve, uh, day eleven. Uh, get at day eleven. Hs input example get status get commit um, day eleven get push. Okay, that's it for today. Um, just remember this trick and do it in your language of choice. But of course, Haskell is a language of choice. Um, yeah, I was worried that we're like, oh no, it's lazy, that's where we're failing. No, no, it was just math. Anyway, I'm gonna do this again tomorrow. Same time, six o'clock. I uh, hope you tune in. Maybe there'll be some more math tricks. Anyway, thanks for today. And uh, yeah, hope to see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.